Hi, this is Alvin with ccbtutorials.com and today I'd like to show you how to set up MailChimp and to integrate it with Mandrill. So we'll start out setting up your login account. Um, so just go ahead and click the sign up free button. And simply put, you'll enter in your email address. And so for this, we will use a uh, test account here. I'll just use my alvinbrown.com email address. We'll create an account. And then it will typically send you a um, email address to click the activation uh, button within that email. Um, I do believe that it will allow you to sign in. We'll see here momentarily without having to click that, that button. So we'll enter in information we'll enter in our password here log in and of course it says an account with that user name has already been registered but was never act activated if this was you please activate your account you can click the link here to activate your account and it'll take you to confirmation page you'll want to type in the cap the caption there confirm your sign up and then you'll enter in information about yourself through select your organization to how old it is uh, whether or not you have to import um, or a list of emails to import whether or not you're doing this for a client and then you always have to give uh, this information here And we'll just use the address here, Memphis, Austin. Rather, we'll just keep it like a Cedar Park for this quick tutorial. You'll want to choose, you know, what you're in, um, what industry you're in, which is business and finance. Also, choose our time zone here located central time zone you can add a profile picture I just for the sake of time I'm just going to not add that um, we'll click save and get started we'll click next and these I'm just clicking next through um, some of the simple tutorial items so the next thing that you can do um, or that you'll want to do now since that you have your account um, is flip over to um, Mandrill and one of the reasons that we're using Mandrill is because in MailChimp MailChimp allows you to send uh, custom newsletters as well as certain types of autoresponders but MailChimp also has a, a feature um, or rather another service called Mandrill and Mandrill lets you um, send transactional emails so like sign up confirmation emails notification emails um, you know more uh, receipts um, things like that so if you're trying to to use MailChimp uh, the regular service to do that you're definitely in violation of their terms of services uh, just because they're not really meant for transactional emails or uh, for instance like anniversary or uh, birthday email so if you create a system that you want to use uh, the MailChimp um, services you can't use MailChimp you'll just have to use Mandrill so we'll sign up for a Mandrill account as well we'll use the same email here at alvinbrown.com we'll also enter in a password we'll agree to their terms of use um, it wants you to enter a password that's uh, longer 
and 10 characters, or rather 10 characters long at least. So, let's see if I can do it. No. There we go. And so once you sign up, you have to walk through some of the uh, little information that they want to know about you. So choose it to the best of your ability, how it matches. And again, this is what I was um, stating before we signed up, that they offer various types of emails. So sign up confirmation emails, notifications, receipt, um, inbound, bulk newsletters, or even marketing automation. For the sake of the example, um, I'm just going to choose marketing automation and notifications. Um, one reason is that I'm creating a... Uh, a code base that will allow for you to use um, CCB to send out birthday uh, reminders, um, birthday emails, as well as anniversary reminders and emails. And once again, doing that using um, CCB in an automated fashion is currently impossible uh, right now just because they don't have that feature set available. Um, and then using MailChimp will put you in violation of the MailChimp services. So we're going to use Mandrel. We'll go ahead and save these settings. And then what you're going to do is scroll here to the bottom and click the API. You want to get API keys. It'll ask you to type in your password. Make you verify it. And so once you verify your password, then you're shown your SMTP and API credentials, which you'll need to use um, to be able to send um, emails. And so currently we don't have API keys. We'll go ahead and add one. And our API key has been created here. You can see that because it says it's been created December 19, 2014. Um, at 3.58 p.m. Uh, you can edit this and you can call this, well, there you go, ccbtutorials.com API key. Now you can name it whatever um, you want because you can have more than one API key. Uh, it's best to give it a descriptive name uh, where possible or when possible. So you'll save And once you're saved, now you're ready to um, associate your Mandrel and your MailChimp account. So we'll go back to MailChimp. And in MailChimp, you'll want to come here to your profile, click it, and go to Account. And under Account, you have Integrations. Um, click the Integrations tab, and then uh, if you scroll down, you'll see here that you can learn more about uh, Mandrel, and like I said, it's a transactional email platform um, that can be used by uh, SMTP or by an a API. Uh, we'll be using it by API, so go ahead and click here. It's grayed out just because uh, we've not associated our Mandrel account to MailChimp, so we'll do that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put in there 12,000 just because I don't foresee us going past that uh, within our given example and even within our given. Uh, CCB environment. So you'll authorize the uh, connection once you set up the estimated amount. So for instance, if I want it to go 15,000, then it will show you that you have 12,000 sins, 12,000 free sins, and then anything above 12,000 um, will cost you. So, you know, if we put in 15,000, we have 3,000 additional ones that we'll have to pay for, emails that we'll have to pay for, if sent. So for the sake of this example, we'll use 12,000. We'll authorize our connection. And then um, this is simply stating that MailChimp is requesting access uh, to our Mandrel account. That way we can en enable um, our account and sending history as well as transactional emails. Um, so just go ahead and click allow MailChimp access. And once you allow it, 
then the account, your Mandrill account and your MailChimp um, account will be integrated and now you can see the logo is actually in color. You have other um, services there, Facebook, Goal, Twitter, um, a variety of other services that you can integrate with MailChimp. Um, and what the, the good thing about MailChimp is that not only can you send your newsletters from here, but then you can also set up your templates. So if we wanted to, we could set up a happy birthday or anniversary reminder template. And then when you switch over to Mandrill and go under, um, let's see here, let's get back to the dashboard. We'll go to outbound. Once you go to outbound, you can actually set templates here. And currently we don't have any templates just because we just set up our account. But as you can see, it says you can add a template below, use Mandrill's API or from your attached MailChimp account. So, you know, we can set up templates here in our MailChimp account, and then those templates will be visible here within Mandrill. And so Mandrill is a, it's a great tool to use to integrate um, in CCB currently right, right now. Another um, option for being able to send automated emails uh, based upon you know, user information like birthday or anniversary date is called BombBomb. Um, and so that's a paid service that most churches can use uh, to integrate with their CCB. Uh, in this example, I'm just showing you how you can use a free service such as MailChimp and Mandrill and uh, hopefully here in another um, tutorial I'll be able to show you actually how to get down to actually doing the nuts and bolts of uh, one developing your code base to connect to uh, CCB or Church Community Builder and then show you how to tie and associate it to the Mandrill API and then the uh, MailChimp templates and from there you'll have an automated process i'll show you how to build a cron job that will um, allow you to um, set a certain time and day for a script to run to go out to uh, to or rather to access church community builder uh, ccb profiles and then use that data um, to send people emails uh, for birthday and anniversary reminders. So that's it in a nutshell. That's how you go about setting up your Mandrill um, account and integrating it to your MailChimp account. And like I said, be on the lookout for our next tutorial uh, where we show you how to integrate both of those services to uh, Church Community Builder or CCB. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching this and if you have a comment, definitely feel free to um, enter your comment below. I definitely love feedback here, so um, I look forward to the next tutorial.